This programme is proudly brought to you by Holden, official sponsors of Australia's defence of the America's Cup. years of Hollywood. I'm Peter Gers. Tonight we have a real treat, a glossy top-class musical, High Society, made by MGM in 1956, 31 years ago. High Society has a great cast, all at their peak. Grace Kelly, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, and of course, Louis Armstrong. This is a musical version of Philip Barry's play, The Philadelphia Story, which was made into a film in 1940, starring Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, and James Stewart. It works equally well as a musical, with wonderful songs by the brilliant Cole Porter. Unfortunately, this was Porter's second to last film score. High Society is full of his wittiest lyrics and prettiest melodies in songs like Now You Has Jazz, or Well Did You Ever, Who Wants To Be A Millionaire, and True Love. Ironically, True Love, which was nominated for an Academy Award, was Porter's least favourite song out of the thousands that he wrote. Grace Kelly sings it as a duet with Bing Crosby, and she has quite a pleasant voice. The film is set among the idle rich in Newport, Long Island, during the Jazz Festival, and Grace Kelly plays a rich, spoiled society girl between husbands. Old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra, Cranky Frankie, plays a reporter, and Der Bingle, Bing Crosby, plays Grace Kelly's ex-husband. Kelly and Crosby had worked together previously in The Country Girl, for which Kelly won an Oscar. Louis Armstrong gets a couple of look-ins as himself, and he's just as marvellous and unique as ever. Satchmo actually came to Adelaide in 1966 and performed at Centennial Hall. Perhaps some of you saw him. High Society has a good supporting cast, topped by Celeste Holm and Louis Calhoun. It's directed by Charles Waters, who was choreographed for Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. And he later directed musicals like Easter Parade and Jumbo. So settle back and enjoy this exhilarating musical, High Society. I'll see you after the movie. Well, did you ever. What a swell movie that was. Wasn't Louis Armstrong brilliant especially? Now you has jazz indeed. I hope High Society put some zing in your life. Incidentally, it was Grace Kelly's last film. Shortly afterwards, she became Princess of Monaco and remained so until her untimely death in 1982. For a complete change of pace, next week in the golden years of Hollywood, we have the historical extravaganza Genghis Khan with an all-star cast including Omar Sharif, James Mason, Stephen Boyd, Telly Savalas and Eli Wallach. Don't miss it. Good night till then and sweet dreams. <laughs>